Who's a big boy doing big things? I'm a big boy doing big things. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> You're gonna put the quotes emotional on this one, aren't you? guys welcome back to the vlog today I am super excited because I'm going to be seeing the s14 since the interior has been painted well at least part of the interior we still have yet to paint the cage and that is what I am here today to help with I'm really excited and let's oh my god see how this looks Coming along. <laughs> this looks like a scene out of Dexter. You ever seen that show? <laughs> You'd be really good at murdering some people. That yeah. smile says it all. <laughs> like, yep. You guys might be wondering why we had to tape off everything and make a makeshift paint booth, and that's because Will did diff, disassembled everything. We couldn't move into the other room, so we're gonna do it in here. And this is so awesome because essentially you guys can see how it's supposed to be done if you need to do it this way. But you don't recommend people doing it this way, do you? No. Oh, the city doesn't like it like this. <laughs> There's also that. <laughs> Don't worry, we've moved all like the necessary ventilation stuff in here. So yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Man, uh, we're good. Yeah. We got an airflow. Hey, we're not gonna die. No, no, we're fine. But my God, you guys, look at the S14. See, most of it's already taped up. I'm gonna hear tape up everything else. Surprise, surprise. The interior is the same color as the exterior. So we're sticking with the Lexus green. You did an incredible job. Yep, it's coming along. We're gonna go ahead and start masking off and then you guys will see what color we're painting the interior. We took a long time in trying to decide what color we were going to do. And I mean a very long time. To the point where Lewis had one of his friends who works at Mazda in, would you say the art department? Yeah, she does. Color. So she helped us really push in the direction we wanted to go and then it wasn't until we sat down last time where we were like this has to be the color and once we start laying paint you guys will see but I'm excited to show you. In the meantime let's go ahead and start masking. What's going on guys? Today's episode is brought to you by Six Yeah. Six Yeah is an app that helps connect you with an expert over the phone. Today I used their automotive service in order to help video call one of their Subaru experts to help diagnose a high idle issue I've been having with the Subaru. They reached out to me in order to work together and I love the concept. I love the idea and the mechanic was actually very knowledgeable. Here's the call I had with Jim. Hey, good afternoon. Thanks for calling Fiction. Jim. Hey, Jim. How are you doing? I'm good. Yourself? I'm good. I'm having an issue with my Subaru during idle that I'm hoping you can help me with. Okay. Uh, what, what year Subaru do you have? I have a 2004. Okay, so it's an 04. Is it uh, any special model, the WRX or a Forester? It's a, it's a WRX. So whenever I am in bumper to bumper traffic, the idle starts to slowly climb, and sometimes it'll start shooting all the way up to red line. And it seems to only happen when I'm in traffic. Yeah, that's actually a pretty common issue with the Subarus. And the issue that the cruise control module itself is warming up and it starts to tighten up and starts to pull on the throttle cable. There's a couple of things you can try. If you don't use the cruise control very often or you don't use it at all, disconnect it, continue normally driving like you would for a day or two. See if the problem still persists. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a shot. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the cruise control cable, drive for a couple days and see how that works. Thank you so much for all your help. If I have any further issues, I'll, I'll give you a ring and hopefully this solves everything. <laughs> Well, wonderful. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Quick update, you guys. It has been a couple days since I disconnected the cruise control. Thank you, 26. Yeah, it did help the issue long term. I will have to either heat wrap the downpipe and or either put on a turbo blanket. 6 yeah, definitely helped me diagnose this issue and I will be using them for future diagnostic help. They're also great for everyday use and general tech support. Check the link in the description below, you guys. 6 yeah, thank you for supporting today's video. Let's get back to it. I'm 
surprised by how long masking takes, but this is absolutely incredible. This took us like four hours. <laughs> we're not done. And we're not done. We're almost done. What we have left is the passenger floorboard and that little piece right there behind the driver's seat. Overall, you guys, this has come along nice and you will see in a second what the pink color is. I also now know not to wear shoes when I'm crawling around the inside of the car because I left little footprints everywhere. We cleaned it up, everything's good. Moving forward, I'll just take my shoes off, but yeah, we're good. <laughs> Lewis sees me crawling with my shoes on and just doesn't say anything. <laughs> You're like, well, it's too late now. Too late now. <laughs> so let's finish that floor and I'll tell you guys what we just did. We just finished masking off everything in the inside of the car. It looks good, let me show you guys. There you have it. Everything is now masked off. Probably the most time consuming bit out of all of this was the fact that Alex did such a great job with the roll cage and it was so close to the chassis of the car that trying to get the paper to tape between here without it touching the roll cage was pretty difficult. So I made a lot of slips and had to tape it on the inside just so that it follows the curvature. But overall, it looks great. It is flush and perfect. We have room to spray back there. And what's next is that we're going to scuff the roll cage and then we're gonna paint. This was a lot of prep work but as you guys know painting anything requires a lot of prep work and if I seem tired I am I'm still smiling this is fun but we've probably been at this an honest answer of how long we've been at this is six hours oh my god but I got my little red scotch bright pad I'm gonna start scuffing the cage and then we'll clean it up and we'll start laying some paint insert dirty pun here <laughs> hey get your guys' mind out of the gutters We are officially ready to start painting. Would you guys like to see what the color is? I wanna see it in person. Look at it go. Ready to go. So after such a long debate, it was such a difficult decision to make, but we ended up deciding on the 918 spider color, the acid green. It's kind of like a yellow mixed with a green, but it's neon and I loved it because it's classy, but also loud. Whoa. This is gonna look so good. At first we had talked about doing a yellow, but there was just something about it that didn't sit right with the color, like yellow and green. And then we thought of just doing a green, we thought about doing a blue. What else did we think about doing? We humored a copper for a while. Yeah, I think purple was thrown around there. For... Purple was not thrown around there at all. <laughs> Midnight purple from the R34 came up maybe once in a conversation, but I didn't want any like feminine colors personally as I'm wearing a pink monster. It's really red guys. I don't like the color pink. I really don't care for purple, but we decided on the acid green. It complements so well with the Lexus green that's already on the car. You guys will just have to wait to see until it's all put together, but we're gonna go paint the cage right now. I should also note that this is my first paint session, and as much as I would love to paint the cage, and although in the thumbnail it looks like I'm not painting the cage, I'm not painting the cage. I'm going to observe the first round, and then I'm going to learn from this, and hopefully paint something next. Ah, <coughs> Subaru. Ooh, <laughs> we got a cough there. Ready to go. Let's do this. Let's do it. All right, let's start painting. Go Pro. Whoa, it's almost the same color as this. Yeah, <laughs> so we're mixing more paint. So far, so great. So Lewis just explained the color of this paint the best way possible. It's loud, but it's still adult. <laughs> and I couldn't agree more with that. I was gonna scare you and then realize this is probably at the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a good time. But <laughs> you guys, please ignore my blank ignorance about eye protection or the proper protection in general. You should definitely wear some. I just don't have it, so I'm winging it. The colors had to pick the most expensive one. <laughs> Go figure, right? From the exhaust. He just hit himself on the exhaust too. <laughs> The cage 
which is done. It's crazy to see like this. Just wait till everything's taken out. You got the floor, the color of the door, see how those match. And the sunlight, it's going to look so sick. So it's a lot of playing the imagination game right now. The picture, you got the heel plates that maybe are this color. You have black seats, black dash. Everything on the interior is going to be the color of the car. And I think it's going to work so well. I'm excited for this, but I do have acting class in the morning, so I have to wake up early. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I don't know what time it is, but I'm just going to say we've been at this for 12 hours now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It feels that way. It does. From when the sun was up and now the sun is down. It looks good. It does look good. It, it looks, looks really, really good. good. Yep. Yeah. Jinx. <laughs> and not wait until I unmask. Yeah. Me. But unfortunately, you guys are going to have to wait until the next episode to see that. I'll go ahead and put Hermes' performance in the description below if you guys want to check him out. Do you have any cool offerings? I do not. Cool. <laughs> If you guys want a badass fucking paint job, this is the place to go. They're not gonna sugarcoat anything for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm stoked on the collar. Wait till you see everything assembled. I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you subscribe if you don't, because I see you guys. We out here with love. Bye. <laughs> I stopped by to get E85 on my way home, and my god, E85 burns so fast. I'm filling up like a tank a day. I just can't not fill up E85. I can't lose that 70 horsepower. <laughs> Also, interesting bit of information, E85 does not burn faster, it in fact burns slower, and you are dumping more of it into your combustion chamber. Yeah, okay, I just wanted to share that fun tidbit of information in this pitch black darkness with you guys. I hope you're enjoying this very intense conversation in the darkness while well, you can't see me. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> I'm deliriously tired. Good night, you guys. Ha, ha, ha.